Hey there folks, today I have two battles using my Smog on Doubles team. I am super excited that Smog on Doubles is a thing now. It's pretty easy to get a Smog on Doubles battle on uh, Pokemon Showdown. Unfortunately, this hasn't yet translated into people actually wanting to do Smog on Doubles on the Wi-Fi Battle Finder, at least not in my experience. Um, so it's really hard to find Smog on Doubles battles, but hey, that's what random Wi-Fi is for. Anyway, my opponent for this first battle is Gojira22. He was on the Wi-Fi Battle Finder and said that he would do any tier, and so I challenged him, was like, okay, let's see how much you mean any tier, do you mean Smog on Doubles? And he said, yeah, sure. Now, as you can see, he's not actually playing Smog on Doubles because he's got two Politoads, so he's breaking Species Claws, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. Uh, and you can see his entire, he's got uh, three NFEs, uh, five of his Pokemon are Water types, and I've got two Grass types and an Electric, so... This is kind of a ridiculous battle. I've, first turn, I take out his War Turtle. I, I figured go go against War Turtle instead. So yeah, I just flipped the difference. I figured that uh, War Turtle should be bulkier if it's running Eviolite. And you know, I don't really see his team really being very competitive. And it isn't the fact that he's breaking Species Claws. Uh, the NFEs just I don't think are going to cut it unless unless somehow they're this is a toxic stalling team and they all run Eviolite. But even so, there are better ways to do that. Uh, namely, Run, Blissey, and Chansey. God, okay, so the most annoying team I ever battled on uh, Smog and Doubles was someone using uh, Minimize with, or Minimize or Double Team, I can't remember which, with uh, Blissey and uh, Chansey. I ended up beating them because they just weren't doing anything other than trying to stall me out. But it was just a long, tedious battle, and it was really, really annoying. So anyway, Barry gets poisoned here. I go for the Blizzard uh, because I think Ivysaur was just out. Um, but so now he's got both of his Politoads out, and I'm thinking, what the hell is going on here? Um, yeah, this is just this is just kind of a weird battle. Uh, so I go ahead and withdraw El Kabong here because at this point, it, you know, it's at well, minus four after two Leaf Storms. So go ahead and get the Sand up because I don't want the Rain up. I, you know, that's the great thing about having two Weather uh, Pokemon. You can do a lot of fancy things that way. So he goes for the Ice Beam against Augustine, and... My hit pout on tanks that hit quite well. So both of my weather uh, inducers are uh, running... I don't think either of them are running any uh, attack or special attack investment. I think the idea is for them to stay alive as long as possible. That way I have the freedom to switch them out and basically change the type of weather ball. Uh, so what, uh, yeah, I've got Raikou and um, Roserade on this team who both run weather ball. And so it changes up the type from rock to uh, ice. And both of those are nice typings to have um, offensively. So anyway, I withdraw uh, my Obama Snow here, go out into my Raikou. And uh, so Raikou's pretty frail, and I'm running, since I wanted the Aura Sphere on the set, it has to be the Crown Entity that runs Rash Nature, which means one of its defense stats, I can't remember which, is uh, lowered. Um, but you know, it's actually, considering that I've got a few quite frail Pokemon on this team, this team actually does pretty well in doubles. You know, in doubles, the, the idea is that maybe you want to run more bulky Pokemon, but I gotta say, I, this team's been doing pretty well. So anyway, I go for the Volt Switch against his Politoed. This is a Specs Volt Switch, obviously gonna take him out, and with his Ivysaur out, I knew that unless he'd protected, it was going to KO someone, because he had to switch out into some other water type if he was gonna switch. So now I go back out into Barry, just so I can do this really cool thing right here and go for the weather ball and have the type change to ice. So I hit him with a weather ball. Uh, it doesn't actually do as much damage as I was expecting. I was expecting him to do a bit more, but that's okay. So uh, now what? I've taken out two of his Pokemon and I haven't lost a single one. And I'm really thinking I'm. I'm I mean, this battle is in, in the bag. I, there's no conceivable way he could win this. Maybe, well, not even with hacks. Even if everyone on his team was running double protect, or everyone on his team was running protect, and maybe he was throwing in some wide guards and some quick guards, I don't know. But there's no conceivable way he could win this battle. So anyway, I have Elkabong here, go for the Leaf Storm, hit his uh, Poliwhirl on, on the, not on the Switch, on its first turn out, and I KO, so that is fantabulous. Just another KO in the bag. And um, I go for the Blizzard, but he switched out Ivysaur, and so now the rain is up, and it actually misses. Eh, not the biggest deal in the world, uh, and considering both of my Pokemon that are out right now are grass, I'm thinking maybe I don't need to uh, change the weather. I, I decide to withdraw Barry. 
actually. Um, so here I go out into Raikou, uh, which is fine. Uh, and uh, he is going to protect with his Politoed, and uh, his Huntail is going to go for the Ice Fang, and he's going to get a KO against El Kabong, because El Kabong is pretty frail. And uh, I was actually surprised at how hard that hit. That is a Life Orb Huntail. Okay, fine. Um, so El Kabong goes down in a hit, but that's my first Pokemon that I've lost. I can still body bag this. That's my goal. Let's body bag this. Uh, and so now I get the hail back up, uh, no more rain, and I don't see him, s well he could switch out and get the rain back up later on, but why would he bother? Uh, so I go for T-Bolt against Huntail, which is obviously the bigger threat. He goes for the Scald against, um, my Raikou and gets the burn, which is actually kind of annoying. Here, Woodhammer is going to hit his Politoed, and it's going to take him out. So that is a dead Politoed, and I have won the Weather War, ha! Huh? Yeah, um... I, Hale is going to think going to be the last weather that you're going to see up in this battle. Um, and I do prefer Hale over Sand generally because there's, there are so many fewer Pokemon out there that benefit from Hale than benefit from Sand. And, you know, the special, the special defense doubling that Rock types get is quite annoying if I forget about it. I've lost some battles um, by forgetting that Tyrantar gets, uh, get gets its special defense boosted. So here, Barry goes for the Blizzard. Um, and even though his Huntail protected itself, yeah, had his Huntail not protected itself, I would have actually body bagged. But because he didn't, he's going to stall out my Raikou. Um, my Raikou's going to die to hail and burn, and um, that's just—it's just lame uh, because this this should have been a body bag. But oh well, it's really not that big of a deal. So now I'm going to go out into um, my Tornado Therian form. Uh, which used to be on my OU team, but thanks to the stupid people who made it um, Ubers, now I can't have it on my Ubers team. So, yeah. So here Barry goes for the wood hammer to finish the job, and that is a dead Huntail, and they win the match 4-2. Or 4-0, rather. So, not quite a body bag, but not a good battle anyway. So, I'd say good game, Gojira, but next time just don't waste my time. Um, he actually got really cranky with me because he tried to battle me again. He's like, I'll bring a different team. He's like... I'm just not interested in battling people like that. So anyway, now here I have a random Wi-Fi triples battle. And this was actually a h really hard to get a random Wi-Fi triples battle because people kept disconnecting on me. And then once I actually got a battle to go through, uh, for some reason the battle video wouldn't save. I suspect it's because I had the Tornadus Therian and he had um, either white one or black one, but I don't see why that would be why that would need to be the case. I don't see why the fact that he had um, black one or white one would prevent me from saving the battle video, but you know what, whatever. So, he switch, uh, so here I have um, Tornadus go for Focus Blast. It misses. It's called Focus Miss for a me reason. Unfortunately, switched out his um, Gastrodon here, so I don't get a Gastrodon kill on the first turn. His Togekiss goes for the Air Slash. I think it's actually not going to take out Roserade, but the Sand will. So, yeah. Um, Lapras goes for Ice Beam. <laughs> it doesn't kill. It doesn't even come close. Well, I mean, it comes close, but not that close for a super effective stab move. So, I don't know. Um, so, Tornadus is going to get buffeted by the Sandstorm, and as is Roserade. Roserade is going to go down, which is sad. Um, but, you know, Roserade is such a nice Pokemon to have in these battles. It, in the last battle that didn't actually record, it ended up putting two Pokemon to sleep because he didn't bother to actually uh, sleep fight one of his Pokemon. So anyway, here I go out into Mamoswine because I know that his... So I've got I've got uh, Tornadus in the middle, which means that both of my Pokemon can go for Earthquake if I wanted to. Um, he goes for the Bolt Punch with Metagross. I figured he might carry it, but I figured I could probably survive. So he's got Follow Me on his um, Togekiss, but you know, it's, it's actually not resisted. So Focus Blast is going to do a decent chunk, and I'm hoping that Ice Beam should manage to take him out um, this turn. So now I go over the Earthquake, it's going to do a metric ton to Lapras, and it's going to take out Metagross. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, Mamoswine did a decent amount of work. So um, now Tornadus is going to get taken down by another Ice Beam. I'm okay with that. I could have switched it out and gotten the Regenerator Recovery, but I didn't really feel it was necessary. Here I go for an Ice Beam and take out his uh, Torn... Uh, not his, his Togekiss. Again, um, so I'm pretty happy about that. So the score is 4-4. Not the best start to a battle, but it's, it's 
start, it's pretty close, and I'm enjoying this. So now he's gonna go out into Durant. I'm gonna go out, or he's actually gonna go out into Durant and Sock, excuse me. And I'm gonna go out into my Raikou. Uh, so Volt Switch out. Uh, I'm gonna hit his. I'm going to go ahead and hit his Lapras, take out his Lapras, which is nice. And I was going to. Uh, the, the idea here was that I could Earthquake with Mamoswine. Um, because we're at Abamos and resist the Earthquake, but it's not actually going to have a chance to do that because his Sock is almost certainly going to target my Mammoth one. So anyway, here his uh, Durant hits my Abamos Snow with Iron Head. Gonna take him out. Uh, eh, changing, I just wanted to change the weather, I guess. So yeah, close combat. Uh, Mammoth one's not going to be able to survive, and I couldn't switch it out into Ice Shard or anything like that because I am banded. This is the downside of being banded, but... Eh, it is what it is. So actually, I am now down to two Pokemon, but guess what? Thanks to a super a quad effective, rather, uh, Fire Fang, he's going to be down to two Pokemon, too. So here I make a slight mistake, which you're about to see. Um, I actually forgot about Gastrodon. I forgot that he still had Gastrodon, um, because I didn't write down his teams. I don't know why I wouldn't write down teams for uh, random Wi-Fi when I do for... Um, for friend battles. Anyway, I send Raikou out to the middle slot, so that puts it in a very vulnerable position, and that was really not great. So Gastrodon luckily doesn't go for the Earth Power, instead, or Earthquake, or anything like that. Goes for the Scald. Um, I go for Weather Ball. It is Ice-type. Uh, it's going to be neutral against both of his Pokemon, and it's going to take out Sock. Uh, and basically I went for that instead of Thunderbolt, uh, Thunderbolt so that I could actually KO Gastrodon on the next turn, just in case something happens to Poudon. Um, so, Gastrodon's health is now not great. If he's going to recover stall me, he actually might be able to, even though I do have Slack Off on my uh, Hippowdon. Here I go for the... Sp so it's a, it's a Specs uh, Weather Ball, 100 base power, and after a nice, uh, a nice thing, it is going to manage to take him out. So that is the game, and I win 2-0. Uh, so, I can't believe a random Wi-Fi battle was better than a friend battle, but that's the way it is. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks.